greetings everyone. What you see in the middle of your screen is a hoverfly. And I have discovered some spiders out here in this tree that I find quite amazing. And when I can't, I, I haven't been watching them very much, so I don't know too much about them. But what first drew me to them is when I looked at their web more closely, I realized that they make a web that is much like a net. I mean, in the sense that um, it's little squares. And this hoverfly came in. I just missed. I wish I had had the video running, but it came in for some reason. The the spiders were shaking the web like it was attracting them and he came all the way out from the outside and he wove his way in there and then when he got stuck this big one of the bigger spiders in the group came running out and uh well pinned him up right there so there he is doomed he's already been given the death blow but i'm gonna try to get some more video of him and share it on the internet with you. Here's what the web looks like and I'm not sure whether that translates very well onto video but if you look in the center of the video you can see oh yeah it's get whoop, it's a little bit too close you can see right there how it's almost like a trapeze net like the there are a bunch of little squares and I had just never encountered those in all my time here so I was shocked when I took a closer look and saw that because you have to think about the fact that a little spider has to attach every one of those points and this web is very large and there has to be thousands of junctions where the web is attached together in those little squares I see one of the spiders over here. I'm going to move the video and see if I can get Here's some video one of, of right it. Here. He just moved a little bit. I'm using a Panasonic Handycam type camera that focuses really closely. What's the It's the HCV110. And I'm able to manually focus it. See if I can get him in real close. He's moving around there. Yeah, there he is. But this is what they look like. This is the type of spider. There's a bunch of different sizes of them on the actual web, different stages of growth. But they're kind of nondescript, and you see how they bounce like that? The one that uh, attracted that hoverfly, if that's what it was doing, was bouncing like that. And this is one of the egg cases. The, they have the egg cases located right in the middle of a... It's kind of like a room of web get it in focus really well. Whoop! Too much. And uh, it's a strange looking little egg case. Strange. And there are, once you see one egg case you see quite a few more. And there are several more on the tree the same way, kind of put in the middle of a big protective room of web. Here's another one right here. See if I've got it in good focus. I don't. I'll try reverse focusing and I'll focus on it close up and then back it off so you can see the... Come on, focus. There it is. Okay, there's the egg case and if you back off from it you can see it's in the middle of a larger bunch of web. And 
and look right here on this same tree on the other side is a more traditional spider at least that I'm familiar with it's a crab spider and it has a radial or orb style web this one has captured a little wasp so this one little Japanese elm or whatever it's called has got a lot of spiders on it he is devouring that wasp which is still alive that's one of the things that kind of creeps me out about spiders is most of the time whatever they're eating they're eating it alive Eesh. Eesh. it's gruesome see what happens if I touch him if he gets scared off No, he's gonna. He is not giving up his meal for anything. Just found another one of the spiders. He's much closer. We focus in on him. They really do match the uh, background that they're on. Ooh, come on, focus. There's one right there. If you can see him, he's in the center of the frame. Very much the same color as the leaves that are behind him. They look very much like an orb weaving spider, but. He's got a little gnat that he's after. It's a small meal for him. I can see why I never saw these guys. Oh, I can't keep him in focus. He just wrapped up that gnat there but they look so much like the surrounding foliage. Oh, I wish I'd had him in focus. He wrapped up that gnat so quickly. Oop, time to go.